Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to KVM World Travel. Now I did a video a little while ago about startup in the 737 Max and uh, I'm actually going to delete it I think because there were a few things that I wasn't quite right on. A few people made some comments and um, and I was getting really frustrated because I would go through the whole startup process and sometimes it would work. Sometimes I'd have to hit control E to get the engine started and it was just messy and I don't think I was doing things in the right proceed in the right uh, order. Um, so rather have a video on there that isn't actually right I'm going to probably delete it and I'm going to put this one up as well if it comes out good. Um, and this one is an updated version of the cold and dark startup for the 737 Max. Now I'm not saying it's 100% accurate that's the way everyone should do it but it works for me and I've gleaned over about a hundred very poorly made tutorials on YouTube. <laughs> very poorly made YouTube. And I've gleaned over them and I've pulled my hair out with frustration. I've screamed and yelled and banged my head against the wall. And I'm always thinking, oh, this plane's broken. Buttons are broken. It's not working. I can't start it up. Uh, but after many, many, many hours and uh, blood, sweat and tears, I've got, a, I've got a way that works every time and um, it does the job beautifully so I'm going to go over that with you today this is not a I'm not saying this is a brilliant tutorial but I just I just it, it works for me okay it works really well for me and I'm hoping that maybe it helps a few of you guys out there as well feel free to uh, make a comment and add to it if you want to uh, add something to it that will improve it even more okay so let's Turn my ugly dial off so you can see all the gauges and everything we need to see. We'll get the camera in the right place so we can see the engines when they fire up. About there. Okay, so here's our cold and dark cockpit. Right, so I probably won't do the pushback, okay? We're just going to go right through the process of starting the systems up and starting the engine up. And we'll just say or just pretend that we're, we're, we're not doing a pushback. Uh, but I am going to go through all the systems as if I was flying to San Francisco, okay? So I'll come down here, first thing I do, and I check that the parking brake is on, okay? Parking brake is set. Then I come down here and I check that the landing gear lever is down, okay? I also like to get rid of that. Okay, now we come up to the overhead panel. This is where the real fun starts. Now, we come up to this standby power button up here. You need to click it twice, okay? Once, twice. Okay, one and two. Click it round to battery, okay? So you've got to click that twice. Okay, open this cover here and turn on the battery. All some lights come on. You hear some noises. It's all very exciting. Okay, and now here you turn on the external power. You then come over here, open the cover, turn on the emergency lighting or the emergency uh, power. Okay. You then come down to this panel over here. I used to play around with this button, but you don't touch it, okay? That's wrong. Okay, turn on the fuel pump switches. Yep. Now you come down here to the APU master and you flick that down. You then come up here to the APU, APU starter. The second one from the left, click on that. It comes back up again by itself. And then the very left one, you click on that once. That goes down and comes up by itself. You don't need to click these ones because they all go down together, okay? Right, now you come over to the right hand side, the engine bleed. Turn on that engine bleed, that one. Click it. You click it, they, they bounce back up again, okay? But trust me, they are going on. Even though that bounces back up, you just click it once, click it once. Now, up here to the engine generator, you can switch all those down. And also this one, the open the isolation valve, open the isolation valve. You'll click it once and it'll bounce back up again. Right, that's about it for overhead panel for now. 
you click this button here that says SYS the systems and you'll see the engine condition here they're all green so the fuel is coming through to the engines now you can come down here the uh, 737 MAX has the dual starting system which means you don't have to start one engine and wait you can just flick both of these engine starts up and the engines will come into life and if you look on this display here you'll see those numbers coming up and the engine starting to spool up there you go guys there's a bit more yet don't go away yet okay I promise I haven't hit control E yet <laughs> I haven't hit control E boy would I boy would I like a dollar for every time I've hit control E in the last 15 years I would have retired 10 years ago or five years ago but no more it really is fun when you learn the startup sequence and um, you don't need to go resort to the control E it is fun okay so the engines seem to be good and stabilized there so we'll go back up here and see this one here engine mode you click it once it'll go to the left click it again and it'll go right round to the right okay to continuous okay then you don't touch it you'll hear this deep whirring noise as the engines really sort of burst into life and start to fire up properly or it's the generators or whatever it is I'm not sure but you can hear that deep whirring sound as as these um, things come to life in the avionics APU master you can take off and APU bleed can take off now we're going to come up here we're going to turn on the Casper fan turn on the recirculation fan we're going to get some air circulating through the cabin so we don't feel tired and go to sleep that would be a disaster some air at the rear of the cabin we'll turn them on to automatic okay we'll also turn on our beacon light probably could have done that before I actually switched the motor on to be honest beacon light and strobe light okay we just we're not going to do the taxi today okay we'll just say that we've already been taxied back into position okay uh, but from here you can turn on your taxi lights or any other lights that you want to uh, your logo lights you can turn them on um, and that's all good now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to turn on the auto brake and I'm going to set the barometric pressure turn the barometric pressure button click on that now so to prepare for departure I'm going to bring my flaps down three and I'm going to adjust my pitch for takeoff as well so bring that down a little bit now if you go outside the plane you can see my flaps are down there and my pitch is just a little bit below the takeoff zone there just a little bit more just a little bit below the takeoff zone uh, we're going to climb to 10,000 feet initially so that's okay there uh, my speed is at 200 knots we can adjust this when we're on climb out actually so it's not too important I always turn off the auto throttle because I do my takeoff manually not with the autopilot on and that's it guys I am ready to taxi to the active runway I don't think there's anything I've forgotten let me know in the comments below if you like but remember not everything is working on this plane not all the buttons and switches switches are actually actually operable um, so I think I've utilized all or most of the buttons and switches that are actually working to go through this process so I can taxi to the active runway now and uh, get clearance and then depart um, so that's the way I do it it works well for me I'm not saying it's hundred percent accurate and that everyone should do it it works well for me and I hope that it helps a few other people out there because I know it's very very hard to to find startup procedures and follow some of the some of them on YouTube 
So I've done all that, I've sweated, I've got frustrated and I've done all the work and the study and the, spent the hours and the trial and errors uh, so that you don't have to, okay? So enjoy and um, you have a great day. Stay safe everybody and I'll see you soon on the next video. We're going to do some more flights in this beautiful 737 which I really like uh, and I can't wait for that. Okay, see you soon. Ciao.